Hello everybody, I'm Itra Face, and in today's video I want to discuss the new Lumion added with the newest Lumion Legacy update, updating the Sweet Retreat once more with some more uh, items to buy and some quality of life changes, but the new Lumion, the uh, Valentine Fan Cub Evolution, your snack. But before I get into that, I want to cover a few other changes that were made to a couple Lumions. Um, so first off, we've got um, Namore and Metronet. Uh, let's see here. They, they both got access to new uh, move manuals. Metronet got access to Hypnotize. So the, um, the Nightmare Lumion is finally able to put stuff to sleep to inflict them with a Nightmare, which it does not know nor have an ability related to it. Hey, it's a step in the right direction, although a lot of people are annoyed that another thing has access to sleep. And it's another thing that punishes mind types that could switch in on Hypnotize since, uh, let's see, Duskit uh, hits them for super effective, Cephalops hits them for super effective, and Metronet hits them for super effective. Why do we have three roamers that punish mind types trying to come in on Hi Hypnotize? The world may never know. But also, Nemore now has access to Flash and Flea. What that does for um, Nemore is that uh, it can... You know, it, it can take on, you know, fully take on its uh, utility role in more acting as a, um, uh, a, a, a status sponge. And uh, you can fully utilize that whole barter set with Volcanic Ash. You switch in, um, barter them Volcanic Ash, switch out with Flash and Flea, gain some momentum, reset your status. And then if something like a Blotox or Swolder wants to status you, you can swap, the, swap it back in, Flash and Flea out, of course. So yeah, it enables Nemore to, um, you know, just be a more more efficient pivot. And um, and then there was one last change, uh, although it's not very big, but let me find it real quick. Uh, yes, Kabunga, the, the Halloween Kabunga became a variant and became plant in mind type. So um, abilities didn't change. Um, Stats didn't change, but maybe in the future, maybe this this hints towards something in the future. Don't know, but um, potentially Waka Laka love maybe because it sucks. Please, Jamie, I did send him a thing, a, a concept to buff Waka Laka, and then he rejected me. I'm very sad about that. You should reconsider, Jamie, because it's a good buff. It wouldn't make Waka Laka broken, and it would it would just give it something to do. You know. Anyway. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is your snack. So if you're if you're ready for some your snack love, leave a like on the video. You know, it really helps out my channel. Uh, more people that like, the more people that it gets recommended to, so on and so forth. But anyway, enough stalling. Let's get into your snack here. All right, so it is a spirit brawler type. So the typing didn't change. Uh, although, uh, do I have a fan cup here? Yes, I do. Um, the fan cub actually got uh, a complete overhaul. This, 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 uh, typing is the same, but it got, uh, the abilities changed. Sharp claws changed to ignorant and adorable changed to, uh, what, uh, clingy. So, um, there you go. And then its stats got a rework as well. It is def it is now more bulky. Um, and, uh, anyway, your snack now, um, its ability when it evolves, when it goes from ignorant to tank, and then uh, it goes from clingy to bursting seams. And if you don't know what that does, um, it may, it, I don't get the name, be, I personally don't get the name, but you know, uh, when you consume your item, you have a 50% chance at the end of every turn to get the item back. So chocolate bar plus bursting seams means every, you, you know, half the time roughly, you are getting a free move. Which is great because it learns the move baffle and uh well that means a free baffle every other turn or so so that's cool uh anyway it's stats very bulky 99 hp 110 defense and 88 range defense 92 energy is a is a quite a hefty chunk of hp if I, if i do say so myself uh 86 melee attack it's okay i mean i mean with the moves it has it could, it could be less passive i guess 21 range attack, oof, and 55 speed. This is definitely, uh, this is definitely aiming towards a slow 
bulky pivot, especially like tank baffle, make it as slow as possible. That sounds like something you could do. Anyway, uh, I guess I should um, go over the moves this whole thing can learn. Um, the fan cup, the, the Valentine fan cup did change a little bit. Um, but anyway, the moves it learns are heartbreak, startle, stare, punch, quick punch, sh oh, what, slash, chase down, gain drain, phantom slash. Uh, and then um, uh, your snack here, uh, the evolution move is uh, baffle. And then it also has rough up on top of that. And uh, the rally moves, they're basically the same as your soul. So final rue, shadow sprint, slap down, but it also has sharpen. Uh, the reason it has sharpen is because the uh, Valentine fan cup previously had sharpen as a level up move, but that was changed. And uh, since we don't want and th them to have a move they normally can't have he just slapped um sharpen in the rally move list so there you go um though one thing to note uh jamie kind of forgot to put all the pre-evolutions moves on the your snack so if you evolve your snack your fan cup into your snack you lose access to heartbreak startle stare punch quick punch and slash it looks like if you want any of those moves on your your snack basically quick punch or heartbreak uh, make sure you have them before you evolve. And the way to evolve them is that there's a new item in the Sweet Retreat. Well, there's actually two new items, but, uh, you know. Uh, you have the Sweets Jar. This is the item you use to evolve your fan cup into the into the year snack. And then we have the Hoganosh Saddle. So, our event saddle. No shards, unfortunately. Uh, it's an unfortunate time indeed, but hey, it's it's better than nothing, I guess. Also, the delicious cakes were buffed from 200 to 150 treats, so that's nice. Uh, anything else buffed? No. Uh, what they also did, uh, there was a bit of optimization when it comes to this. The red color is a bit lighter, so it's easy to, easier to tell, or no, more more refined. And then the baking actually is faster, uh, as you can see right here much faster and it's based on your client so if there's a little mini little server lag thingy majigger you're not going to be stuck in spot and so you, you, it's easier to bake so there you go um but yeah in my but th that's pretty much it when it comes to your snack your snack is definitely going to be a bulky pivot like this screams it uh fun fact it initially had rejuvenate in its move set before it went live but and i told jamie uh, you know, that might be a little bit stupid with its secret ability giving it a free move every other turn with the chocolate bar. And, uh, so it's not to say your snack will never get rejuvenate, it's just since we can't test it, uh, I thought it'd be best if it didn't get it right away. So, unfortunately, all those people that wanted rejuvenate on it, it's my fault and you're welcome. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, your snack is interesting. I'll give, um, um, you know, more details on how to use it in a future video. So uh, if you're looking forward to that, make sure you subscribe to have a notification bell turned on uh, so you get notified when I do upload that. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in any like community events for me, make sure to join my Discord, check out Twitter. Both links are in the description. Currently uh, getting ready to host a UU tournament, which I, I just banned Vokaloa from. Um, so if you're interested in that, make sure to check those out. And yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Hopefully y'all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in another video. See ya!